out of the cell. I'm gonna just walk around and get him over there, right? Beautiful. We've just picked up this year's allotment of bees. I have eight packages, which is approximately 80,000, give or take a little. Um, the reason for the masks is we're in the second year of a pandemic. Um, I myself have been vaccinated, but uh, where we're picking up the bees is a lot of people that haven't. And the fact of the matter is, it's still a good safe practice to wear masks, which we do all the time. So now I'm about to head back to my house with the 80,000 bees in the back seat. And I can remember the first time I picked them up, I had two packages of 20,000 bees roughly. And I think I hyperventilated the entire way home. Um, today we have, you know, 80,000 plus bees in the back seat. There's a few uh, what they call travelers that aren't in the, in the packages that are flying around the car, but I'm not hyperventilating and they're not gonna bother me. We'll see you shortly. So now we are about to install the packages into the hives. There is approximately 10, 11, 12,000 bees in each package. So we're going to show you how to do the shake-in method. And there might be a couple of uh, new little things that we're going to do this year, which we haven't shown in the past. So join me and we're going to install the packages into the hives. So as you can see, we have the hives all ready to accept the bees. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this cover, we're going to take off the top cover. So I've taken out, in preparation of the, the package of bees to be shaken in here, I've taken out five of the frames. So the fifth frame, I've put a couple of elastics on, which is where the queen is going to be attached in a moment. But before we do that, we're going to install a hive beetle trap. And what you use, and this obviously is self-explanatory, it captures the beetles. So you can use any oil, I just happen to have beetle trap oil. I'm sure it opens. And you don't want to pour it in while it's in the trap because it doesn't hold a lot and you could potentially have it leak into the... So you just put a little bit in. You don't want it to leak into the hive itself. And that goes in this opposite corner and you just push it down a little bit like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open the package and install the queen. So the first thing that we have to do um, with this package of bees is we have to take this off because the queen and the sugar water is under here. And this is how they travel. This comes off fairly easy. And these bees that are flying around on the outside are called travelers. So I want to take this off so we can slide that piece of wood back on there without a big problem. We're going to going to shush these bees out of here for the moment. We're going to take this out. And we're going to take out the queen. Do you have the wood? All right. So we're going to take out the queen. And we're going to make sure that we see a bee with green. And there she is. There's the queen. And those are the, those are the attendant bees which travel with her. So what we're going to do is, that is candy that you can see in here, 
and those bees will eat that candy. What you don't want to do is release the queen immediately because they'd kill her. So they have to get used to her for a few days. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and it's the candy side up because if you did it a different way, this is the hottest part of the whole installation. And if you did it a different way, whoop, I know it's going to come off. Come on, we'll do it this way. I'm not getting graded on taking this off, right? Jeepus creepus. Here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And again, it's the candy that the bees will ultimately eat to release the queen. So we're going to put it up. So if a bee, an attendant bee happens to die, they'll still be able to get out. We've got two elastics. We put this in here, and now what we're going to do is take out the sugar water. And we're going to come over. Kathy's going to bring this over. take this off and we're going to shake these bees it might look a lot worse than it really is for the bees there was a number of years that I did not do it this way but it is much easier to get the bees into the hive And because it's a warm, beautiful day, any of the excess bees that don't come out, we're going to leave this out front. And before the night is over, these bees will go into this hive. So what you also want to do is to make sure that when you put these in, I need the So you just kind of give these a little flip and it might look a lot worse than it really is. And you just want to slide these in and you don't want to drop them. There is space between the bottom of the frame and the hive. So we're going to put these in. There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a feeder. So it looks kind of crazy, but these bees will all go in this hive before the night is over. We want to kind of even up the space. Kathy's going to put a high feeder on top. We're going to put some sugar water in here. There's eight pounds of sugar to a gallon of water. And these bees can come up on the inside of that screen and until they can go out and forage for the food that they need, we'll feed them some sugar water. And you want to make sure you don't get it into the hive. And then we put the inner cover on the cover something heavy so then what will happen will be in three or four days probably four days I'll come back and go into this hive and make sure that the queen is out of the cage 
Um, if it's almost completely eaten through, I'll leave it in. If it's not, then I will let the queen out and introduce it to the hive. But we're just going to let nature take its course for the next several days. Welcome back. So now you have seen us install packages in the hives. We've done a couple of them. We did it a different way. And by the way, we, this is my wife, Kathy, who was helping us in this episode. Thank you. She is a professional beekeeper. Um, so you have seen us install the packages in the hives. We shook them in. I know it looks violent, but it really isn't. Um, it doesn't really bother the bees. And within a matter of 20 minutes, those bees will go into the hive. Uh, you set the box down as you saw in front of the hive, and because of the pheromone from the queen, they know where to go. I mean, these honeybees can leave here and forage up to four miles and come back and find the right hive to go into. So I want to thank you for watching. And this year, um, we intend to do some different things like we have each of the last several years in terms of inspections, maybe a sugar shake again. Um, we've done a number of different things over the years, and we hope to continue to do that again this year. And again, thank you for watching and thanks for being a beekeeper.